And joining us is Dustin Aheron, who is a animal protein analyst with the Robo AgroFinance. Uh, uh, Dustin, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Great to be with you today. Now, we want to talk with you because uh, you and uh, your team came up with a, uh, a study, a report that was released called The Case for Capacity uh, when we look at uh, what's going on in the uh, cattle and the beef harvesting uh, side of the equation. Uh, I guess maybe take us back to uh, how did that meeting go to come up with the hypothesis of, of moving forward? So obviously the discussion around COVID-19, supply chain disruptions, even going back to the Tyson Holcomb fire, really brought packing capacity in the beef industry to the, the forefront of the discussion. So when we take a, a deep look into the balance of fed cattle packing capacity relative to fed cattle supplies, our analysis suggests that there's economic opportunity to add five to 6,000 head of daily fed cattle packing capacity. So with that, I think uh, a lot of folks are looking at, with that size of numbers, regional, uh, smaller operators, or expansion of, say, the big four we have now. So I think there's two opportunities for expansion. One is technology and one is new construction. For existing incumbents, I expect any expansion to come on the technology front through improved ef efficiency uh, within existing plants, you know, adjusting production lines, things of that nature. For new construction, we anticipate it will come from a smaller 1,000 head to 2,000 head daily capacity plant uh, that can really leverage relationships up and down the supply chain and maybe cater to some of the you know, niche market branded programs. That is uh, one of the things that we've seen definitely through this COVID uh, uh, situation is folks maybe trying to, uh, consumers that is really trying to reconnect and or make a stronger connection to know where their food comes from. And so there has been a lot of discussion from some of these regional or even very localized uh, packers, but uh, in the big picture, uh, it, it doesn't uh, fill the need of, uh, of a lot of people that maybe don't have that same option. Right. With direct to consumer opportunities through local lockers, that's a, a great play for certain producers, but being able to scale that to a level that really impacts the total industry is a challenge. Well, we are talking with Dustin Heron, who is a uh, analyst in the animal protein sector for Rob Agro Finance. There's a new report called The Case for Capacity. We're going to take a break and come back and talk about uh, maybe some of those chains and how uh, this could all be brought together. So stay with us.